Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic, it's a global problem that we're having and it's really a new sort of problem. We didn't have this sort of problem before and it has to do with smartphones or our Apple uh, iPhones and Samsungs and it is when we are crossing the street and we are looking at our phones and we're going into dangerous situations all right so crossing the street is safer for texters people who use their phones and send messages so in the city of Augsburg Germany on April 21st they started experimenting they started testing with installing or putting in special LED lights to help distracted tex texters as they cross the road so these texters they're texting and they are distracted meaning they are not paying attention they're only looking over here they're not paying attention to the car or the bicycle that is coming so how are they helping them by installing these lights on the floor so the special lights which are embedded inside the ground are synchronized with the regular traffic lights so synchronized means with the traffic lights the red yellow and green and the lights they are you know together they are timed at the same time right so when this is green this will be green when this is red this will be red they are synchronized right so the two are timed to change at the same time as part of a pilot plan as part of a testing plan the lights will be installed at two busy crossings so they're really not putting it everywhere they're just testing it in some places the goal or the mission of the manufacturer Statwerk Osberg that's the company name is to prevent accidents before they actually happen prevent is of course stop something before there's a problem so before the accidents happen they want to you know stop or prevent these accidents according to a governor's highway safety association reported in the United States so now we're moving sort of to America remember this is sort of a global problem pedestrian pedestrians are people who are walking on the streets not driving but they're walking on the street fatalities people who died while walking increased in 2013 after a long period of decline decline so the number of people dying it was going down not that many people are dying but suddenly it increased more and more people are dying while they are walking on the street the report also says more than 1500 people were treated for injuries in hospitals related to texting while walking in 2010 alone so many people are being hurt they're getting injuries while they're texting they, maybe they fall down somebody hits them or something happens mobile phone users were 48 percent more likely more chance to walk straight into approaching traffic so approaching traffic means the cars are coming and the, these mobile phone users will walk right into them why because they're distracted by their phone uh, tra um, mobile phone users were approaching traffic or torn to January 2008 finding an accident analysis and prevention so Chongqing in China now China has resorted or they decided to install a phone lane a special sort of road as a way to protect its citizens and Portland Oregon even has started broadcasting you know into uh, radio and TV public service announcements safety messages to remind people to tell them to look up the only solution the only answer may be for people to stop texting while walking I think this is probably the best way and the you know the cheapest and safest way to do that instead of all of this I think this is the right way to stop texting while you're walking all right so to review we have three review questions here a what did the city of Augsburg Germany do to reduce the rate of traffic accidents for texters the special LED lights on the floor 
were embedded in the ground to be blank with the regular traffic light. The traffic lights are for the cars, the green, yellow, and red. So are they moving separately? Or are they moving together? If this is red, this has to be red too. Their timing is the same. So a different way we can say that is synchronized. So when we have a team of dancers, they are synchronized because they all move at the same time, right? If they're all moving differently, then it's not pretty and it's not a good dance team. B, what happened to the pedestrian fatalities? Again, pedestrians are people who are walking and fatalities are when they die, right? So what happened in the US since 2013? After a long period, a long time of uh, little people dying, less and less people dying, suddenly more and more people are dying. It's starting to go up again. The number of deaths, the number of fatalities is going up again. So the opposite of to decline, the opposite to go up is to increase. Right? Uh, another antonym for increase is decrease. When the number decreases, it's going down. 1097 to 1. When it increases, it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. C. What did accident analysis and prevention say about cell phone users? They are, for, they are talking about mobile phone users. Mobile phone users are 48% more blank to walk straight into approaching cars and traffic. So people who are using their phones, they have a higher chance to walk into the street, right? If we're not using it, we have a low chance because we can see it and we will stop. But if we're using it, we have more chance, 48% more chance to actually walk into the street. And another way we can say that is likely. It means to have a higher chance. So for example, winter is more likely to have snow than summer. Winter has high chance of snow uh, and summer doesn't really have a high chance. It's less likely in the summer. Okay, we have three review terms here. A, as part of a blank plan, the lights will be installed at two busy crossings, at two uh, streets, they will install them, right? So we're not talking about dozens or hundreds of places. We're only trying or experimenting or testing these two places. And another way we can say we are testing it is called a pilot plan or a pilot program. We know pilot is someone who uh, you know, controls an airplane, right? If we're riding Korean air, then there's a captain and he's the pilot of the plane. But when we use pilot as an adjective, right, a pilot plan, then we are saying that this plan is just a test or experimenting plan. So if it works, they'll do it. If it doesn't work, then well, they only did it at two places, so they'll just cancel it. B, the goal of the manufacturer, of the makers of these lights, stock work Osberg, is to blank accidents before they happen. So they're giving you a hint here, before something bad happens, before they die, before the pedestrians get hurt, they want to stop it, right? So another way to say that is to prevent. So how do we prevent stomach aches? How do we stop stomach aches before they happen? Well then we have to eat healthy foods, right? Um, if the opposite would be when we get hurt, we go to the hospital after. That's not preventing because we are already hurt and we are trying to fix the pain. So preventing is before the accident happens. C, the only blank may be for people to stop texting while walking. So all these programs, they are trying to find the answer. How do we keep people safe? And it may be that the only answer is for all the people to just stop texting and walking. So another word for answer would be a solution. So when I, when I say what is the solution to the problem 2 plus 2, what is the answer? What is the solution? Well, the solution is 4, right? And the, the problem right now is people are getting hurt. So how do we fix that? With the solution. So to review, 
pilot, we're not talking about an airplane pilot. We're talking about a testing something. So a pilot plan is a testing plan. Prevent is to stop something before it happens. That's the key word here. Before the accident happens, we're trying to prevent it, right? Before we get sick. Solution is the answer to a problem. So I asked you before, what is the solution to 2 plus 2? The answer is 4. All right. So after reading this article, we shouldn't really rely or depend on other people to keep us safe. It really is your responsibility to keep your own body safe, right? So let's try to take this advice. Stop texting while walking anywhere you go, up and down the stairs, or in the streets, or even in school, or in your house. It's really not safe, all right? So thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. I'll see you next time.